The sun goes down, the stars come out, and all that comes is here and now. My universe will never be the same. I'm glad you came. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're fabulous. I'm Antonia from Timpanies.com, and today I'm going to be bringing you a short video about the amazing Hermes Birkin. The reason I'm doing this is simply because I think that not everyone is lucky enough to have seen one of these, let alone to own one of these, and there's a few amazing features about them that uh, you wouldn't necessarily know. So I'm just gonna do a little brief video about some of the lesser known facts about the Hermes Birkin. So let me know your thoughts, share it with someone that you think might be interested and fling some ideas about some other bags you might like to know about as well. The two Hermes bags that I have in front of me here are both 35 centimeter Birkins. Now the Birkin is measured in this size here. So from here to here is 35 centimeters. They do actually come in quite a large variety of sizes, which I'm gonna pop a picture up for you here so you can see. are in the Togo leather. I'm gonna bring this up to the camera so you can see the leather. It's got a slight sort of grainy effect. And this leather is actually probably one of the stiffer leathers. So that means that the bag will hold its shape. One of the things that can often distinguish an authentic Birkin from a fake Birkin is the fact that the real ones do actually sag a bit. So I've actually got these stuffed up to the nines, as you can probably see, because they are sat in the shop all day and it's important for them to keep their shape. But you can see if I pop them to the sides, like so, they have got a natural sag to them. And some of the fake ones, you will notice, they don't lose their shape, they are very rigid. And if we take a closer look up on the hardware you can see this one is the palladium hardware this stamp here is always going to be the same color as the hardware so you can see here it's in a silver here you've got it in the gold and then the matching heat stamp it seems like quite an obvious thing to say but you must make sure that the hardware is the same the whole way. So that's from the lock to the key. So if I can get this little key out here to the feet on the bottom. Now it is quite natural for your Birkin to wear. It is meant to be a real working bag. It's not lined, it's just for putting things in and really it is made for daily use. And so it is more than natural to get slight areas of wear around the corner you can see on both of these that they, it does have a fair amount of natural wear just on the corners. Something else that you would want to double check on your Birkin, I get this little key off so you can see, you can choose when you buy it where you want your key to be put um, and quite regularly as you saw this one had it down there. The other the, um, the key in the lock is actually in its own little dust bag, which is something that I'm going to be coming on to later. But it is that this little number here on your key will always match up with the number there on the bottom of the lock. And you can also see the Hermes branding just gently in the metalwork there. Quite often, it, with a good fake, it's only as much as how the branding is stamped onto the bag, the heat stamps, the date stamps, that can really be where the differences lie because quite often the fakers can't get a delicate enough stamp to mimic the real ones. The next thing I want to talk to you a little bit about is their date stamp. So, I'm gonna try and bring this up to the camera so you can see here, on the right hand side, on the inside of the tongue, you've got a little date code 
in either it will probably be either in a square a circle or if it's really vintage it won't have a shape at all and in there you're looking for a letter and the letter corresponds to the year that the bag was made. The other letters on the other side, I believe correspond to the artisan that actually made the bag. So the shapes that surround the date stamps denote the time periods that they were made. From 1997 to present, you'll find a letter within a square. And prior to that, from 1971 to 1996, you'll find a letter within a circle. And prior to that, they didn't have a shape at all. So you're looking at a real vintage one if you've got a date code without a shape. And it's always really important to double check those date codes because I have heard of incredible copies actually having date codes, but they've done them in the future. So it's actually, it can sometimes be quite a giveaway. Right, I think we've talked quite a lot about the outside of the bag. So shall we open it up? Now, you might be slightly horrified at the amount of stuffing I'm going to take out of these bags, but they are not mine and I am selling them on behalf of someone else and I always think it's so important to keep them as stuffed as possible. And normally, if I'm showing you a bag, I would probably fast forward this point, but actually it is something that if you do have your own bag or you're looking to have one, that it is so important to keep them really, really well stuffed. So, we take all of this out. I'm going to show you the inside of the bag and if we hold it up to the camera you can see it is completely unlined as I said before it's supposed to be a real sort of everyday workhorse bag that you can just put things in now inside is other areas where you might want to just double check how it's looking you have this zip here now on the real bags the zip lies flat against this zip here and you've got on both sides you've got the Hermes branding etched into and here we can open it up and you see you've got your zip pocket there's the inside and on the other side you've just got your slip pocket and really that is the Hermes bag you can actually get, uh, I think, inners. So you can, if you wanted to have more compartments and more slots, you can get things to put inside, which decompartmentalizes. Wow, I tried to say that three times. I just cut them out. <laughs> the Birkin into more compartments for you. The final little bit that I just want to talk to you about are the dust bags. So the orange dust bag here is one of the older styles. And this more natural, dust bag this is the newer style and with each of the bags when they come they should come with your dust bag the rain mac which is so cute as for if it starts raining just to protect your bag and then the little mini dust bag for your clochette there you go pop that back in there and just one little thing that you might want to look out for when you are looking at the dust bag there it is, you can see it in full size, is the fact that you're looking for a double circle there around the emblem. So thank you so much for watching this really quick video tour of the beautiful Hermes Birkin. If you are interested in purchasing or selling Birkins, we would be absolutely delighted to speak with you. And do share this with anyone that you think might be interested. Give us a like, subscribe, let us know your thoughts, what you'd like to see more of, less of. Don't be too mean. And I'll catch you next time. Is here, I know my universe will never be the same. I'm glad you came.